Uh, hope you are enjoying the Udo experience. Uh, myself, Chirag Jogi. Today, I'm going to talk about adaptive manufacturing and digital warehousing using Udo ERP. One of the case studies that we have implemented for Imansa, they are based out of Dubai. So in today's world right now, there are lots of uh, changes happening dynamically day by day and the manufacturing market is significantly changing. And due to the new revolution, industry revolution 4.0, there are lots of big change in manufacturing industry. So I'm today talking about how we are implementing manufacturing implementation on top of Udo and digital warehousing, which refers to the logistic aspect of it, where you can make your uh, process, your workflows optimized way using making sure like you have full product accessibility. If I talk about Brainware, so we are uh, like a global company operated in 11 offices globally uh, into the market from last 21 years. And we have a strong team of 1800 resources in-house. We are located in Europe, in Greece. We have office in UK, Canada. We have headquarters in US. We have office in Middle East, Singapore, and Canada and India. In Udu, we are gold partner from last seven, eight years. And uh, we have also working with other technology stack. We are gold partner in Adobe. We are partner in SAP. We work for Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics as well. We are uh, having lots of uh, got the credentials and awards due to our work. And uh, we are number one on Clutch. So around like 200 people has given rating, testimonials, reviews, feedback of our work. We are fastest growing company in Silicon Valley and lots of the other awards like Deloitte 5500 that we have achieved. So myself working as a delivery head in Brainware, having around 12 years of experience in Udu and uh, leading the team of 250 resources in-house. And uh, my core expertise is ma mainly I'm managing the solution architect and uh, business process mapping into Udu. I map the client requirements into the system. And the main forte of uh, Brainware and myself is retail manufacturing at Omobile. I'm Udu certified consultant. In Udu proficiency, if you talk, so we have a good team uh, of 250 resource out of that 80s are certified. We have done lots of integrations. So if, when we talk about integration, so uh, we have done uh, uh, third party integrations with the e-commerce marketplace, EDI integration, payment gateway, shipping gateways, hardware integrations. So that is kind of more forte where uh, we have strong expertise in technical way. Now about Imansa. So they are into adaptive manufacturing and digital warehousing and uh, they prepare a kind of spare parts in 3D printing model, right? So they design, they print that model and they distribute. So there are lots of processes into manufacturing. They, they do kind of detail analysis, the designing, and they have a proper plant where do the assembly. Using the new technology where you can manufacturing your spare parts from the raw material, which is in the powder form, they convert that powder form into the solid form using the 3D printing models. They are located in Saudi, they are located in UAE, Jordan, US, Kuwait. So they have multi operations. And using Udu, we have done multi company operations for all their countries, localization, taxation, and multiple other operations we have implemented for them. They are the region's largest team of adaptive manufacturing engineers and technicians who have strong expertise in this model. Today, we are going to discuss about the technical and functional challenges that we have faced while we implemented this implementation on Odoo, the key features, the solutions, and the results. So how we have achieved and implemented over the period. So what were the challenges before Odoo? So they were using Zoho CRM and QuickBooks for accounting. So it was, you, you can understand, right? So CRM, it's not having a full-fledged EIP, not talking with uh, the manufacturing domain, not having a full-fledged uh, integration with the QuickBook. So they were kind of scattered system, and uh, there was manual operations most of the time. 
there was no automation or there were reporting which were not consolidated uh, they have multiple locations right they have multiple operations so it was difficult for the company to see consolidated pnl balance sheet uh, all the inventory which is not in a same location so how we implemented so we have we have done cost per line they were they were having facing a lots of issue to calculate cost per line so in in order to calculate like f to produce one spare part how many raw materials required what are the sub components what are the bill of materials what are the routings so they were struggling to over there they were the process of manufacturing was slow and cumbersome and uh, there were multiple iteration in qc so in in manufacturing domains it is very much important your each and every work orders get proper qc and the test cases get passed over there but they were not having a proper system of manufacturing so there were lots of iteration happening in qc how did udu improve things right so udu is well known for their robustness and scalable system and we have replaced quickbook accounting and zoho crm to one system udu erp while replacing there were challenges but yeah as a system is udu having consolidated modules integrated interlinked of purchase inventory manufacturing accounting into one system that make their life easy and uh, we have on top of food we have done lots of customization like for example we have created automatic job order so everything will start from job card job card will process to the manufacturing order manufacturing order will process to the build that automations and customization that we have done we have created kind of one module one plugin called cost estimations where designer can estimate how much materials going to utilize how much consumption going to happen of raw material and based on that they can convey to your their customers like okay this are my upcoming uh, product or upcoming uh, finished good have going to happen and this will be the final cost we have done lots of innovative work and we have implemented chatbot on top of udu where there are lots of email notification sms notification that we have given into multiple departments to make sure they have accessibility of uh, what is happening right now on the floor on the production environment so each and every department have their own uh, uh, idea like okay this process has been completed now they need to process for qc or they need to process for packaging or dispatch so there is proper triggering system alert system which made uh, their notifications and uh, collaboration system full fledged in manufacturing industry lots of workers or i would say laborers they are working in multiple shifts right so udu helped them to track their attendance management and if they have worked over time then udu will calculate exact amount of hours that they have spent on the uh, assembly line and based on that the payroll has been calculated automatically using udu so we have done that process we have done local localization consolidated report multilingual because they are having in multiple locations so multi currency multi language all those things were implemented so these are the main key features that we have implemented and mapped their current business of manufacturing into udu system so when the customers comes as a lead we import into udu crm lead then they define a quotation which is uh, estimation of bill of material how much bill of material is going to uh, acquire for that process there are multiple hierarchies of approval so we have done approval management system on top of udu once bill is bill of material has been defined we trigger that email to customer for verification okay these are the bom which going to utilize for your finished good once they review finalize that bill of material then and then it will start for the production at that time we confirm the so and in manufacturing industry there are chances right like if you have confirmed so then also there is a deviation there is a revision in the sales order so all back and forth that we have taken care on udu and thanks to udu that feature where we can modify the sales order in multiple revision manner 
like if uh, if you need to update the quantity if you need to add any product if you want to remove it out then the scenarios will be different sometimes you need to reflect to the same update to the manufacturing domain so it automatically update to the manufacturing module as well as in the accounting as well so sometimes you need to create a credit not for that customer sometimes you need to give we need to ask for extra payment right so automatic that trigger of invoices will will be we are sending via email to the customers once that confirmed so has been finalized we created a job order in odoo having a dynamic bom and that job order will process to the build so build is more about like in a production line multiple job orders or multiple manufacturing order as a they combine into one build and we have not kept any limitation okay like you can start one build if you have compatible this much this much uh, attributes or this much compatible raw material only we have optimized odoo system in a such a way like you can on a concurrent way you can start your multiple manufacturing order that manufacturing order will multiple ma- mo will have one build and that build will process to the production line then there are multiple steps of qcs so uh, it will be more about like test cases each and every test cases of work order will will uh, check in and out with uh, lots of uh, there were hardware integration that we have done so it was not any manual process they have such set of hardware they do scanning and uh, qc over there so we have integrated certain hardwares with hudu via api and uh, using the iot thing so that was one of the key features that we implemented for this client and once each and every process got passed we dispatched to the customer using all this process they have 50% content on demand production time means like the whatever the process before udu it was taking 15 days after implementing udu it was that much smooth like it it took around 6 to 7 days to complete one manufacturing cycle there are 50% reduction in the warehouse and logistic cost so previous to udu they they don't have any kind of forecasting or how much procurement they need to do they don't have any idea using udu they exactly know like okay in my manufacturing process these are the missing raw materials these are the missing components so they previously preventively plan and using the reordering rule we have set min and max operations where they can visualize okay in my upcoming 3 months how much procurement that i need to do so they help them and when we started they were having only 25 users and over the period they have grown as a company wise also so right now 80 users are using the system so what are the outcomes after implementation of whole erp system so they have better integrated system and uh, the workflow automation that we have done which helped them significantly they have better internal communication so we have as i mentioned we have implemented chatbot so different department different users using that chatbot can collaborate each other uh, we have done uh, we have increased manufacturing capacity by 2x we have given 360 degree of cash flow management so as a company it's very important to visualize if you have multi company operations what is my overall consolidated pnl overall consolidated balance sheet right so from single view we have given that consolidated uh, visualization quality check built reduced by 50% so previously before odoo there were multiple iterations so one manufacturing order was taking around 12 iteration of qc after odoo it came down to 6 qc also using digital warehousing we have done that optimizations where they do sort I mean so much of subcontracting as well so we have given access to their subcontractor using udu portal and we have modified udu portal in a such a way that we have given certain access to their subcontractor the subcontractor can not only visualize the manufacturing order but can do certain updates as well so if they have processed certain uh, manufacturing process they can update the status they can update the quantity they can uh, attach the screenshot or attach the images like okay this production or this pallet has been completed 
you can you can process for uh, dispatch so such kind of collaboration between subcontractor and the the immense manufacturer we have done that using udu's portal and uh, overall uh, the revenue increase right so the roi has been increased by 7x in last two years itself which is significant like uh, in 2020 the revenue was 50% in 2021 it increased to 150% and in 2022 they have grown drastically to 200% in ROI so it shows like using the system which is that much robust and integrated with the different different modules and talks each other with the subcontractor with the third party with e-commerce with in-house application and hardware has been uh, used overall in full fledged so yeah these are the, some of the clients of manufacturing domain and other retail domain where implemented udu for uh, operations like in gafco we have done full fledged manufacturing with accounting and e-commerce integration with magento they are into air filter based out of saudi and they were also having complex similar system and using Udu, we have achieved all the operations. Ajmal Perfume, so they are into Dubai. They have 250 stores. We have done rollout of 250 stores at a one go, and they are using successfully Udu POS and integration with the SAP full fledged. Likewise, we have other customers from North America, Sharol, T Dot Performance. They are also into manufacturing, and we have implemented. Yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, read it, happy to answer that. Thank you.